going over some Farming Simulator 17 mods. Uh, Farming Simulator 17 console, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and PS3, as well as, I believe it's on Wii U, uh, I think, or Nintendo Switch, whatever game console it's on. If it's on a game console, then these mods will work for it. So, these are some of our favorite mods. They are hand-picked, and I just wanted to go over them. So, yeah. Number one has to be this where I'm at right now. You're probably like, where are you? Are you in some, like, movable structure or what? Well, no. I am in a house right now. Now, this is something that is only on this map. I have never seen this kind of thing implemented in any map, and I genuinely love it for that reason. Now, I have to go ahead and give this guy a shout-out because, you know, he's asking. This one right here. His name is... Oxygen David. Oxygen David is his YouTube channel. Uh, check him out. I, guess, I think it's like a landy kid. Uh, he's got it all over. I think it's like a book called Oxygen David. Uh, oh. There we go. My bad. I was grabbing the wrong thing. Um, yeah, this is it, what it looks like. He's got a Farmer's Lair 17 thing there. I think that's something else, though. You know, it's got like a duffel wagon. It's actually got a pretty cool thing. Now, uh, in the future, there will be rooms, obviously. Like, you, there's going to be a room up here on the top floor. It's probably going to be a working garage. Like, you can get up here, but you're not meant to. So let's try and get out. Oh, no, 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 no. If I can't get out, I'm, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry a little bit if I can't get out. That actually... Oh, thank God. So, like, this will eventually be, I think, the garage. you got, like, moving stuff in here. You can, like, grab, you know, chairs and whatnot. It's just really cool to ha uh, have. And it's an actual working house, so it's got working lights. You guys come over here. Uh, you can actually turn on the lights. I think there's a light in here as well, somewhere. But yeah, for right now, let's go ahead and forget about that. Uh, go ahead and open the door. So this is the back door. It's got a nice little potato area. Uh, not potato, tomato area back here. A little shed. Uh, some, you know, some cool stuff like that. And it's got a walkway to the front yard. And then you go over here, and you got a front door that you can go out as well. I think there should be a book somewhere. I feel like there's a book here. Unless it's that. Let me just throw this out the way. Let me look over this way. Okay, there is nothing that I... No, there is. Must be on the outside. Yeah, it is. Okay. That sucks a little bit. Whatever. Um, yeah, this is the first mod. It's a, just a whole nice little map. Um, honestly, I don't think it's a full-size map, but it's still pretty cool. It's got a little swamp. Um, it's got a swamp moat around your actual farm, your starting farm. And that's actually where you spawn, by the way. You spawn inside of that house, which I just find pretty cool in general. You know, it's uh, one of the rare things you see in Farming Simulator, as you guys can see. You guys got, like, a window there that you can see inside the house. Yeah, you got a TV and whatnot. It's really freaking cool. Um, but yeah. So let's go ahead and get into the next mod uh, set up here. So go ahead and say goodbye to this place, and I will actually be giving off the name of the uh, map, if I can find it. Don't think it will be under uh, map overview at all. Unless, is that it? T F E was X. No. Um. Dang it. I do not see one. Okay. Well, I guess I'll be figuring out the name later. But as of right now, let's go ahead and get into the second mod, which has to be this. Oh, I also need to purchase something else as well. Uh, I'm just going to be getting these, getting these two items just for for a mod that I'm going to be showing off in a second. But I just want to have these as, you know, to help. Oh, crap. There is not enough. All right, let me move this uh, thing up. So this right here is number two. And this is actually a new mod. This is actually a um, fairly new mod. It came out the last week as of recording this. Uh, and basically, it is a van. Now, you're probably wondering, oh, yeah, van, that's so freaking cool. I can have a big white van and be, you know, a... Uh, I'm not going to say that because I'm a family-friendly channel, but you guys probably are going to talk about it, you know. But this is actually a pretty cool van because it's actually used in, well, not the exact same van, but pretty much the same kind of van as you, as you guys like, not exactly, but it's, it's used in markets and literature certain maps. Now, obviously, it's not exactly the same as you guys know, there's no actual like, windows in the back, but it's still pretty cool to have. It can go 76 miles an hour, and it doesn't actually have too bad of handling. Whenever you turn, it doesn't just turn really crappily. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm going to show you guys right here. Oh. It's a very nice vehicle. Um, you know, it's really cool. It's really good. Ooh, crap. Messed up a little bit there. Take it down this road real quick just to show you guys. Again, it's not even that wide. You can actually go on both back roads and whatnot. It's 
nice vehicle to have, and I actually genuinely like it for a couple of reasons. So I'll show off in a second. So I'm gonna drive somewhere just to show you guys these things. But uh, basically, I can't really show them off unless I sh uh, I can't really just describe them. So I kind of have to show you guys, show them off a little bit. Let's go over here. We're gonna head to the uh, farm. This is gonna be the only one I head to the farm with, by the way, uh, simply because of a feature it has that is on. How do I say? How do, how do I describe it? It is on parallel. It's unused by any other vehicle in this game, like, correct. Now this map is, this map that I'm talking about, the number one, is actually used on the PC. Um, however, on console, on PC it can be used for mud. However, on console there is no mud. Uh, not yet at least, so it is not a mud map yet. However, in the future, hopefully it will be. Alright, so let's go, where am I heading to? I'm heading to the, uh, house. Well, actually, I'm not heading to the house, I'm heading anywhere like this. So, to show up this feature, which I genuinely love, is... You're gonna to want to go ahead and on the PS4, Xbox One, or on the PS4 and Xbox 360. Crap, let me get my chair fixed. Get my chair comfortable. Let me get my Xbox One remote. So, for the PS4, you're gonna to want to push R1 and down on the right analog, on the left analog stick. L1, L1. For the PS4 and the PS3, you're gonna push L1 on the left. Uh, L1, you're gonna push it and hold it, and then you're gonna to want to push down on the right analog stick, so the looking stick. And what that'll do is that'll open these back to sliding doors, and then if you hold the uh, L1 button again, and you push to the left on the left analog stick, these back doors will open. Now on Xbox One, that is uh, left left bumper and right on the analog stick, and the same, same thing, but it's left bumper, so just letting you guys know that there. And what this is cool for is that it's not just for, you know, uh, design things, you can actually hold this. Let's just go ahead and put, right, let me, uh, Close this for now. Okay, I'm actually not going to use this stuff right here. Let's also buy a chainsaw. Just to show you guys, you can even transport wood with this. Now, I've used it for wood transporting in the past uh, in one of my other things. It's actually pretty good. You hold a decent amount. You can hold a full tall tree in the back and really nice. I'm going to put like a broom and a bucket in the back. Of course, it's going to be used for like role playing and whatnot, but it's really nice and happy. Go in there. Shut the, oh, pardon, shut the back like so. Now it's going to stay in there. Now it will obviously move around because you can't put straps on those kind of objects. But once I get to the spot where there is a tree, which I think I can go out this way. However, uh, that opens inward, not outward. Alright. Plot to the left on this way. Yes, I was right. It does lead out this way, which is good. Because there is, I think that's... But of course I'm not going to be going before. That's dumb right now. We're going to be heading over this way where there's a tree that I saw earlier. And we're going to be cutting this way. So we're going to show you guys that you can easily, that you can easily transport wood with this van. And it's really freaking cool. I just love that. Dang it, this is a real tree. You're not a real boy, Harry. Or you're not a real, you're not a real boy. You're just a, a wood boy. Okay. Luckily... There is placeable trees that I can just cut down and throw in the back. Let's get a placeable fern, or a birch. They actually removed the uh, ability to get the ferns uh, because of that glitch. It's not even a glitch, it's just that. What would happen is, hello, basically what would happen is that uh, people would buy the ferns for like $9,000. They'd cut them down and sell them for, you know, so much less. Uh, for so much more, by the way. So I actually just simply decided to play. Be an absolutely massive piece of wood, just a small little piece to get the uh, points across that it can be trans uh, transported. Uh, so I think that should be a reasonable uh, size of size. Uh, now we go. Now that it's done cutting, we're gonna take this, take it out this way, jump over the gate. Where'd the wood go? Take it, and we're gonna throw it in the back. Now, another cool thing is. There are straps, so if I could actually line it up, I'd line it up. There are working straps as well. Wow, I cannot line this up. Really. There we go. So it's got working straps. Now, obviously, these straps do not work on stuff like brooms and whatnot. Or do they? Wait, do they? No way they work on brooms in the uh in the bucket. I don't. I don't think they do. Open and close. Open one, close the other. 
Okay, just like right there. Yeah, the straps don't work on the um, like the buckets and whatnot. Uh, obvious reasons because you're not probably supposed to. You're probably not supposed. To, you're probably not meant to have. Yeah, the, the uh, wood won't move around in the back of the van. Uh, in fact, I'll show you guys by simply opening the back of the van and drive. And the bucket's gonna come out. The broom might come out, but that thing will not come out until you remove the strap. So once you put the strap back on again, solid as a rock. Really nice to uh, have. There, there goes the uh, bucket. Let's just close this now. Let's head over to the next item. How are Hang you? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. How are you, man? Alright, so let's go ahead and let us go this way right here, back to the shop, pull this in here, let's just park it right here for now, and get into the second mod, uh, the third mod on this list. The third one has to be the Lizard Road Rage, aka in real life, Ford Mustang. Now, this is, co uh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is color changeable, it isn't only red, it can be all the colors that the Farming Simulator acts as, which I think is like 27. Um, but this is the Ford Mustang, it is color changeable, it has color changeable rims, it's got color changeable stripes, uh, you can also have a single GT stripe, and the twin GT stripe like this, and color changeable, and it's not only white, there's plenty of other colors you can have with it. It's a very nice thing, it is to it's tough to use 101 miles an hour, very nice to have, it cannot, it does not have any function other than just driving you around the map, so if you want to go collect your eggs at a high speed, this basically helps you out, but... Other than that, there's no real functionality um, to having it other than, again, a high speed, which is, of course, really cool to have, really nice, you know, and looks. Does not have a good functionality, like, you're not going to uh, be using it to cut down trees or haul anything with. Uh, Johnny, shut your door! Uh, but yeah, it does have working lights as well, as you guys can see here. Uh, turning signals, it does have work working turning signals, as you guys can see. It's got working brake lights and first lights. And then a working normal light as well. The front lights, same thing there. And of course, it does, the uh, van did have working lights as well. Let's go ahead. Just bring it over to the van just in case I didn't show that. Uh, I'm not sure if I showed it off. So the van does have working turning signals. It has working reverse lights and it has working normal lights as well. Brake lights as well. Yeah, that's obviously pretty cool. And it does have a top light as well. Cool. And then the front does have working turning signals as well. Yeah, that's obviously a pretty cool feature of all, uh, both these vehicles. Coming into the fourth mod, which is a mod I actually quite like a lot. Also, I need to purchase another item. My bad. I keep forgetting to do this. Let's get the, um... Honestly, it's not that I forget. It's that there's not enough space in this little spot unless I move vehicles around, which I don't want to do too much. Let's go ahead and get the non-mod vehicle, this one. Alright. So let's go ahead and just jump into the semi truck. Now this semi truck is not a mod. This is the in-game semi truck. I'm going to get to show this model. So this is the IT runner pack. Uh, basically, what it is is, as you guys, these are all trailers here. Now these trailers are, or these tippers right here are freaking cheap. They are cheap and they are good cheap. They aren't a bad cheap. So what they are, and it goes from this one right here, which is a slurry trailer, a slurry tank, all the way to this right here, which is the. Uh, the attacher for the tank so basically the, what you're going to want to do and this is how it's going to work you're going to go over to you're going to download the mod and go to the it runner pack you're going to end up paying a fifty-five thousand dollar initial fee for the attacher then you're going to end up paying either twenty thousand dollars for the skip as it's called the rain container for forty two thousand wood container for nine thousand bale container for nine thousand or slurry container for 34000 Now these can all, the good thing about these is that they can all be placed down on the ground. You only need to spend $55,000 on one of these. And then you can buy as many of these as you want and have them literally lined up at your shop. Now a good thing, another good thing is that all of these trailers can also be pulled by a normal pickup truck as well as a semi truck. Let's go ahead and show you guys how it works. Basically, you hold down your L1 button and your, a, your X button or your LB button and your A button. And then, Basically, this thing will pop out. Then you just simply back up and connect to how you would a normal trailer. So you're going to simply connect this one for now. And then, once you have it connected, you're going to want to simply reel it in. Oh my god, I can not put it there for a second. But once you reel it in, boom, this thing is a very cool trailer. And the good thing about this is that I love is that, let's say you fill this up 
and let's say your um, silo is full. Or, because I do believe, now I could 100% be wrong, but there is math where once you collect all the gold coins, it fills up your silo 100%. Let's say you have 99 gold coins. Let's say your silo is already full. Well, what you can do, simply fill up this uh, your empty your silo into all these trailers. The good thing about it is, as you guys can see here, you can also wait until there's a high demand. Simply just take them, fill it up, and then, oops, my bad. Unlike other trailers where they are very difficult to uh, have them compact because, you know, they have wheels and all that. Look at this. Look at that. And then, boom. You leave it there. And that is what I love about it. Well, that, again, it can be hauled by a normal pickup truck or this. And of course, that is very cool. And I love it a lot. It's actually one of my favorite mods in the game. Okay. Um, I don't use it as much, but... When I do use it, I do use it a lot and I enjoy it. It makes my life twice. Coming up next, I think this is number four. One, two, three. Then, yeah. One, two. Yes, number four has to be these right here. So, these are some dollies. Now, these are, again, yeah, another model of this. These are dollies right here. And what they are, are they're basically, they're the, basically the back of the semi truck that you can use to connect to other semi trucks. Now, what these are useful for is, let's say you don't want to put pressure on the back of your semi-truck or you have a pickup truck and you can't even haul a semi-trailer with the pickup truck. Well, this is actually very good because unlike the other two, in the other, unlike the other one, the in-game one, which is very small, and the other modded one, which is just a little bit bigger, um, these are act this is actually a very nice one to use. And like I said, this one is too small, it's only got one wheel, and this one is two wheels and it's another small one, okay? Now, it will cost you $18,000, but it's a very good one, okay? As you guys can see as well, it has the lights. And yeah, it's really cool. We go back to the... Oh, crap. Also reverse, it does have working reverse lights. So does the um, IT Runner trailers, by the way. Let's go ahead and show you guys what you guys can do. So let's say... Let's say your grain trailer is full, and you don't really want to haul it. You don't want to haul it with a semi-truck. Because you're putting too much weight on it. Boom. Right here. You have your whole answer right here. Uh, and it's so much easier. As well as that thing you could also have, instead of having it centered like it is now, you could have it more toward the back the uh, attachment. So make this connected now. Like that. And instead you can have it more toward the back. Get rid of the semi-truck. Let's get the in-game pickup truck. Uh, which, by the way, these are both in-game pickup uh, trucks. This is the semi-truck. So, yeah. Johnny, stop, please. Alright, so let's say you want to turn off this again. Connecting it, super easy. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and bring it over here. Now, one of the issues that there are is the fact that without any weight on the trailer, this thing can actually lift up your uh, pickup truck. Now, that is, of course, an issue. Uh, but once you get some weight on the trailer itself, on the uh, the dolly itself, you won't have an issue, an issue too much of an issue driving. So, but right now, I'm going to disconnect it and connect it up. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh my god, I nice I'm gonna connect it up with the semi truck and then connect it to the truck after. Basically, once there's weight on the trailer itself, you shouldn't have too much now. I've yet to try with the uh, the attacher in the back as opposed to the middle. In the middle, honestly, it's all right, I guess. But in the back, you know, it's. I haven't tried it, so I have no idea. It's the first time you drive it like this. However, I assume it should be still good. Alright. Go ahead and jump onto my pickup truck. Connect to the back, and ooh, not actually good at all. That is actually very terrible. Now it is a four x four truck, but of course, your back wheel is being lifted up. And there's a chance that it can be tip, uh, taken off the ground. That's not good at all. In fact, it is very bad. Let's just disconnect it. I'll show you guys what it does with the uh, other train, the other one, because again, the weight is more center. Now, what this is really going to be used for is hauling like uh, uh, one of the bigger modded trailers. By the way, I haven't bought them yet. There is another set. So I think it's number five. Um, I have a few more mods that we can show off. And you can also you guys have to download the mods at the end of the video. Uh, just in case you don't know how somehow. Uh, because then again, I can't even talk crap. I actually, I actually found that about mods on accident. So, you know. Disconnect it now. 
Let's jump into the uh, pickup truck. Let's connect up and show you guys what it's like. I, honestly, I, I guess I can say I can feel it, but you guys may not be able to feel it. Like, no, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I have a good skill I'm a, I'm a decent driver. As you guys, it's pretty much the same thing, but it's not as bad. However, it is still pretty much. I'm not. Okay, but it's kind of bearable, you know? A little bit bearable. So, okay, I guess. Yeah, now what we're going to do is we're going to get the last one here, which is, of course, pretty good. Let's go ahead and get the last, well, not the last, let me let me rephrase that, uh, one of the last items on this list. So let's go ahead and go to low loaders, and this has to be, well, these two right here. The, uh, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go ahead real quick and sell, ooh, return all these items simply because I don't have the room to be actually just, you know, getting all these items out and then not being able to, you know, uh, show off more items. So, yeah. Let's return all these. I don't really need to return the other two simply because I don't need to return them yet. So let's get one of these trucks out. Let's also get a um, semi truck out. We'll get this one out with a back attacher just in case. And let's also get out the um, well, the trailers I was getting. So there's this trailer right here, and there's this one right here. So I think I got it without ladder heights. I'm not sure. Let's get the standard one though, just in case. Let's get this one. All right. So, oh crap, I got them both without the ladder heights. Well, I guess I'm getting them both with ladder heights now. Alright, so basically, let's get into it for, um, step five. So this is the number six. Number six has to be the Wago, the Joskins Wago Loader, uh, set. This comes in two, uh, four technical trailers. Two of them are eight meters, one, two of them are ten meters. And these are what they are. This is the, um, eight meter one right here. This is the ten meter one. You can either get the installed ladder height, which basically stops if, like, you hit something or you stop really suddenly. It stops vehicles from crashing into the cab. Or you could get the cheaper ones, which don't. And you can actually have, on this one, the 10 meter one, uh, you can actually have two trucks de uh, with the bed dangling off. But, of course, I would not recommend it. Also, I really wish this was a real tractor. Like, that is a freaking pretty cool looking tractor. Not for a lot. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and get out of here now. Let's show you guys how cool they are. So I'm going to show you guys what they have, you know, the lights. They, all these lights are the same on all of them on these four trailers. I just really want to show them, you know, based on the show them so you guys know. So as you guys can see, it does not have reverse. Um, fine, you know, whatever. But it does have turning signal on both sides. It has a beacon light, and it has brake lights as well. So turn on the lights, turn off that turning signal. And of course, if you're on PC, it does have the other thing. Uh, it does not have bright, uh, bright, uh, reverse lights on the trailer. So now let's get into the next one, which is also, by the way, the pickup truck can actually hold it. The in-game pickup truck can hold it. And with complete ease, it is very easy. Now this one is another good trailer. This one is 14, I believe, 14 meters. Um, let's go ahead and just show you this. Let's, let's compare it to the 10 meters. So it is 10 meters long. That is. 10 meters long plus 4 meters of the front, which you can actually load up a skid steer or uh, if you have a skid steer and you use it for a uh, uh, low, not a low loader, a um, if you have a skid steer or a wheel loader or something like that, you can easily load up a skid steer onto the front part uh, by using a loader. And of course, let me just go ahead and check out the lights. So the way this works these are the uh, beacon lights right here in the back. We've got reverse lights, brake lights, and turn the look. The turn signal on the side. As well as that the ramps, they actually make for a pretty cool speed boost. Um, well, they used to be. Uh, since the update, they put wood in, uh, so that way, whenever you run over bumps, it doesn't move that bad. But it used to be able to make a cool speed boost. Yeah. Well, that is very nice to have. Very effective uh, trailer. It's actually one of my favorites. That was number seven, right? Uh, six. Number seven. Number eight has to be this the money cheat box. Now, on console, we do not have inspect elements or whatever. One zero 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 zero. We get into our world. We have one zero 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 money. No, it doesn't work like that. We have to get our money legitimately or through a money cheat box. Which this is the money cheat box. It gives you. It costs. Let me see how much it costs. I believe it costs. Yeah, it costs one thousand dollars a box, and <coughs> every hour it gives you ten thousand dollars. Now it is placeable, and it basically works the same way as a. Um. As a charging station, no way. Works the same way as one of these, as a windmill does. However, on the windmill, 
even though you get one, you don't, you only get one thousand five hundred dollars per hour. You only get one hundred sixty dollars per hour on this. You only get ninety dollars an hour on these, and they are so hard to maintain on these two. However, this and this is one point two five million dollars or one point two million dollars. This is one thousand dollars, and it gives you ten thousand dollars an hour. Okay. As well as that, it sells for five hundred dollars. Money cheap box. It does not work on hard. Okay. So this place will magic. Can you box. sub to me? I subbed for your Chanel. I am almost at one p four subscribers. Hold on. Uh, I'll I'll check your channel out in a minute. Uh, after the video, of course. We'll generate ten thousand dollars per hour on easy and normal mode. It will not work on hard mode. After all, if you're playing on hard mode, you're looking for a challenge and not easy money. So simple enough there. Very oh crap! I am stuck. All right, there. We go. So again, it's a nice thing. I use it all the time on a lot of my videos. That is number eight. Now, number nine and ten have got to be. Well, honestly, number nine. If I can find number nine, then I won't uh, have to load up two maps. But number nine, I think it's not a tractor. It's not under tractors. I highly doubt. Yeah, it is. Okay. I I didn't think it would be under tractors simply because it doesn't work too much with tractor. But this is my favorite tractor. So. Uh, let's go ahead and just really quickly get rid of all the leased vehicles I have. Um, and I'll show you guys why it's my favorite tractor in a second. And that would be number 9, and then number 10 would be another modded map. Oh, Ooh, that was my girl. I'll text her in a minute. It's my, uh, my girlfriend. Alright, let's get rid of that. Alright, let's go ahead and get this. We're gonna get this in. So there's an end inside of you can get a... Uh, 35, 35 extra horsepower for $2,000, which I quite like, because most tractors in this game rip you off. That's nice. Okay, and of course, if you're getting this, you don't really need too much horsepower. You just need it for something else. The top speed is 26 miles an hour. A little bit slow, but okay, you know, whatever. What I like is for is because it's like a, it's basically like a, um, go-kart. So let's get it in standard. Let's get it in wide tires. Oh, let's get it in big wheels. Crap, I keep clicking that. And let's get it in narrow tires as well. I think there's one more. There's twin wheels as well. I think there's a lot of wheel types for this thing. Standard farm tech. And I'm start I'm freaking I'm gonna fill up all the spaces here. Carry wheels farm tech, twin wheels farm tech. How many wheels are there? Oh, crud. No, no, no. Oh, there's so much. Oh, okay, there's so much more. Okay. So I'm at Big Wheels Farm Tech. How much are there? There's so many wheels on for this thing. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and just go check it out now. So this right here is with standard wheels. I believe. And this is at Farm Tech, by the way. So let's go ahead and just move this real quick. Yeah, I think this is standard wheels. Um, so while I move that really quickly, uh, let's, get, let's get this in the Farm Tech style. There we go. Shut it off now. So yeah, these are standard wheels. <coughs> this is the farm tech one, which is pretty cool. It's got a nice little color change to it. Um, I don't remember what kind of wheels they are. Like, these are all pretty cool, you know. I think those are narrow tires. Those are wide tires. I think those are narrow or something. These are narrow. These, those are twin. Those are uh, care tires. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna get a set of big tires. What they're called. Let's get this again, just to see. Uh, so let's see. Big Cephla brown wheels. No way. There's more than farm tech. Okay. So that's gonna be a whole nother part of this thing then. So let's lease this for now. And that is on this one, right? This is yeah, these aren't too big, but yeah, you know, whatever. Oh uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty cool, I guess. Unless that's not, unless that's not it. Oh, let me just... Uh, let me... Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, re again, return a lot, all these leased tractors here, just to show you guys the other, you know, designs, slash, I guess you'd say, liveries you can get on these things. That is pretty cool. Again, not too many tractors have a lot of liveries that you can do. Uh, they're called liveries, but again, not too many of them have them. So let's go again here. Let's get this. Let's get a uh, standard... Let's get farm tech. Let's get uh, something green. Let's get oxy red. And let's get sapphire blue. Let's get Scotty. And then uh, Cephal Brown. I think that one's it. Yep. And I think 
Yeah, there are tires to go with the uh, type of thing. So if you get like Scotty, there's all these things. There's big wheels, Scotty. There's broad wheels, Scotty. All that kind of thing. So I'm going to show off all the wheels. And then, of course, the wheels will go with the um, livery. All right, so let's go ahead. Ooh, these are all pretty cool. Like, I genuinely like them. Sapphire Blue. <laughs> <coughs> However, I like the original, the stock. It is very nice. Okay, this is a very cool track. They go, oh, that one is in the Oh, that one is still pretty nice. It is a... <coughs> <coughs> I do believe it's a farm simulator 13 tractor converted into converted. So that's, again, a cool thing there. Let's go ahead and exit this game now without saving. Let's go ahead and tell you guys the map uh, that that was on. That was on. Thornton Farm. That was the name of the farm uh, in the game. And let's go to easy. Now let's go ahead and show off the next one, which has to be. Uh, now these are not new by, uh, maps by any means necessary. Okay, I am not saying that these maps are new. Okay, I'm just saying. Also, by the way, this one right here, uh, Chellington, is actually a remake. Uh, no, Laws of Crap. Thornton Farm is a remake of uh, Chellington 17 B12 or whatever. Now, I'm gonna be showing you guys. I was gonna show you guys Giant's Island, but you know. You probably already played it, you already know about it. Um, and honestly, I really don't want to go over that map. I don't, I mean, I like it, but I'm not that interested. It's not a cool map. It was already, it was decided hard between Lozenberg and American Outback. So I'm going to do the American Outback, because I played a lot of Lozenberg. Let's go ahead, and we're going to make this map right now. Uh, I'm actually not going to have any mods except for these uh, few right here. I'm going to get those for real mods, though. Forget, I'll just have all the mods. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, this is number 10. Um, considering I was able to show off number all the other ones. Yeah. <coughs> Alright, whatever. Um, so yeah, hopefully it hurries up, hurries up and loads. Yeah, I, I really do hope it does that. There we go, I've seen, uh, I seen the start thing just now. So basically, this map is a really cool map. Now, I'm not going to be doing a big, in-detail thing. But basically, it's kind of a really cool um, modded map. It's certified by uh, Giants as well. So let me just go ahead and get rid of all these owned items. So that way, I can have a little bit of extra cash if I need it. And of course, I definitely would like to have. So I will probably be using this map a little bit uh, for my Heavy Rescue Repo series. After I get everything handled in... Uh, Westbridge Hills or whatever, wherever I am, Gold Press Valley. Everything once everything's handled in Gold Press Valley, I'll be over here, you know, just checking everything out. So the fountain, where's, where's the fountain? Uh, there's a fountain right here. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah. So let's go ahead and for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get a. Uh, I'm gonna get a vehicle. My bad. What am I? <clears throat> I'm gonna get the van. Just because I, I think it's kind of cool though. I think it's kind of cool at least. And I'll, I honestly, I'm not getting the Mustang. Back. Let's just set, let me just change some settings so they go along with what I play with, like real time traffic on dirt, um, automatic engine start off. Uh, uh, I don't even care. Honestly, I don't care. I'll leave it at default. Why not? Um, <coughs> off, 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 off. Dollar miles interactive zone. Off, 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 off. off. All right. So this again, this map is really cool. Oh, number one, right here. Once you go to the shop. What's right here? No, they removed it. No. Dang it. They probably got in trouble for having it. Oh, but they, they okay, that's still there. Okay. So, this used to be a mobile. So, what happened was, I think Giants got in trouble for having the mobile signs everywhere. But this is a mobile gas station. It is a uh, mobile. That's actually a gas station chain in the United States, uh, the US, United States of America. It's a gas station chain in the U.S. It's really cool. I cannot believe that they actually had to remove that. I'm actually going to check the update after this because I did update it. Yeah, let's go ahead and go ahead and make a U-turn real quick. It's a pretty cool place. Again, it's nice. No, it's actually a working gas station, I think. Yeah. <coughs> it's pretty cool. Oh, uh, it's nice. You know, it's actually just like an older. You know, 
<coughs> it's an older kind of map, a desert kind of map. It kind of reminds me of Radiator Springs and cars. I'm just gonna put that out there now. Let's drop it here. Yeah, again, okay, it's pretty cool. Uh, whatever. Yeah, it's a really cool map. I really do like it. It does have everything you need, including something I didn't even know about. So now, the weight of Let me just see the weight of this van. Uh, the weight of this van is 2,483 pounds. By the way, the human character, the character in the game, does not weigh, have any weight to itself at all. Let's go ahead and take this off. So, 2,483 pounds, something like that. Now, it's going to say zero. Or it's not going to be on. I get on it, and it has zero weight at all. Alright, just because of that, I want to show you guys what I meant in the last video by these things have no weight or any weight difference by the type of engine you get. Let's also get this one. And let's get this one. Alright, let's go ahead now and let me just. Yeah, this is the, um, I think this one has the higher horsepower. Let's go out this way now. This is actually the map of the closest weight station to where you can buy vehicles. And because of that, I'm actually going to use it a little bit today. Like, just for the, just in this video, I'm going to be using this uh, type of station to each of them. This is the map. Now, this is something cool I wanted to go over a little bit. Like, I, I know I'm getting sidetracked a uh, decent amount because of this one. But this weighs not even a thousand pounds, 979 pounds. Okay, whatever. I'm okay with it only weighing 979 pounds because, you know what, whatever. Okay, the game can be like that. Let's just hold the lead. Um, the big block engine weighs more than 979 pounds, right? Alright, let's go over there and let's see. Let's uh, go up this way. Oh, that air! No! Oh crap, no, 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 no. Oh well. I guess that's where this van comes in handy. There we go. Uh, let's jump into this truck. Now, let's see, so 979 pounds is the other one, right? Let's see this one. This one is 979 pounds. Wow, big surprise there. So, it doesn't matter the engine type you get, <laughs> the truck cannot work because the game is programming it like that. Now, let's show you guys the weight of this one, okay? Just to show you guys how unfair the competition is in this game. Oh, good. Like they are making it out as Ford to be the better one. Really, truly, Ford is kind of crap. Like, I'm being honest with you guys. I'm not trying to, you know, roast on none of you. On you uh, uh, don't get butt hurt if, you know, you love Ford. 2,794 pounds. Basically, 2,800 pounds. Yeah. Show you guys the Mustang now. The Mustang is, honestly, it should weigh much less than any truck. Like, there's no way that this should weigh more than an older Dodge truck, okay? Especially you know, the old truck, the old Dodge truck, the old Ford truck, used to be made out of heavy metal, okay? Let's look at this, hold on. Look at this. Almost, basically, almost 1,650 pounds. Okay, now the van, I don't think the van weighs more. I think the van weighs a lot less than the bigger truck. But still, this is just how weird the weight is in this game. Like. The weight, W E I G H T, not weight, that like W A I T. Just let me show you guys. This is 2,483 pounds. I think the other one was the big truck was like 2,500 something pounds. So, just since I showed that, I have to go over this one now. Simply because I feel like an idiot if I didn't. I just want to see how heavy skid steers are. I'm sure a lot of you guys are actually curious about it too, but you guys can check it out always. But, you know, I wanted to do it. So, let's, uh, let's get this one here. Max speed is 12, so I'm going to get a trailer as well. This one's probably the easiest trailer to get because I can use it with a semi-truck. Not look like it's meant to weigh, like it's meant to be like it looks like it's supposed to be heavy. But 
course, like, how much, how heavy is it? I really don't like those headlights in my, uh, my rear view. However, I guess I might have to heal it. So after this, I'll get back into the map. I just want to show you guys this, uh, little bit. pounds. That weighs more than the pickup truck that's in game. That is something interesting right there. That basically means that this truck can actually pull more than what it weighs. This one can. That confuses me. But I'm not gonna question it too much. Because I have more... I don't have more things to weigh. I'm actually gonna get back into the uh, touring of the video. Or touring of the map. Start the truck up again. Van. Open up the map. And by the way, this is a full-size map. This is uh, one of the prop ones. See, it's actually full-size, like one of the uh, professional maps that was made by uh, Giant. It has... What is it? Right. What, 20? I think there's 20, but I'm not sure because I don't see number 20 at all. But I don't think they've ended at 19 yet. There it is, I see 20. They have 20 separate uh, fields. And good thing about that is that some of them are small and some of them are large. And that's obviously something you want. You don't want all small fields because... Then you're kind of getting ripped off, and you don't want all big fields because then they're too much. You have a, you know, healthy mix. Number one is a small one. Number twenty is a small one. Number two, nine, three. Um, technically, say sixteen is a small one. The rest of them are all big, but you know, whatever. And then you also have a nice giant lake, which is beautiful. beautiful. Now, one test I've been asked to do whenever I do uh, videos regarding these maps, uh, re not my maps, but regarding mods is to basically tell if the uh, trees work. Now, this is not a map for uh, forest trees. I'm going to just say that right now. This is definitely not a map for forest trees. If you're thinking this map is for forest trees, you're wrong. Okay. No way you're going to see this map for forest trees. Trees are not real. And, well, number one, uh, that's one thing. But, number two, even if the trees were real, this is a desert. You don't want it to be a tree, uh, tree map. However, I'm going to show you guys for, you know, sole purpose how you could do it like that. To buy like a couple a field and buy like a bunch of trees and then do it. If you're doing it for actual series and not like role playing, this is not the uh, not the map for you. However, this van is for you. That's the case. So again, start cutting down these trees. I'm actually not gonna cut down. I'm just gonna cut the right. Uh, uh. I'm gonna cut a decent chunk out and go to the back of the van. if either the Road Rage got an upgrade with a uh, tow hitch or this got a tow hitch. Because, again, these vehicles do not have tow hitches, which means that their use is limited. But, of course, this thing has a good use because, again, it is it can be used for forestry and whatnot. Like, honestly, if this was around when my tree services uh, series was around, it would have lasted a lot longer. In fact, I'm actually considering doing another tree service solely because of the vehicle in the game. Because of the vehicle like this in the game. And that would make my tree services so much more. But of course, that would have to be like tied into a role-playing element of my 
um, heavy rescue repo and all that. I don't want to do that because, again, the whole purpose of my heavy re rescue repo being, you know, so big was because my tree surfaces crashed. But I don't want my heavy rescue repo crashing because, again, that would just be bad. I only started heavy rescue repo because, well, I had a trailer from the tree surfaces and somebody needed a car code in the case of not that was it. Well, that actually was not good. I left her on like delivered for like four minutes ago. But my truck will be uh, crap, what? Okay. Yeah, I had to replay that because I double clicked it. So. What? We're gonna cut it right here. Uh, I think I have to look there we go. It's actually a pretty good time. the van. Alright, you know what? Return. Alright, let's go uh, over here. Now, there's no way I'm picking this thing up. Uh, I'm just going to get a real, you know, real. Like, this is a good one. These 10 mods, like, if you install these 10 mods, these, I think they're 10 mods, yeah. If you install these 10 mods, you won't need very many mods for a while. Like, a, a good vehicle for forestry, plus a trailer, and plus a bunch of trailers, and one of those trailers just so happens to be a good forestry trailer as well. Two nice, fast, new vehicles for the game. Three, my bad, three. Some good, small, good trailers to fall with, and two good maps. Like, really and truly, what more could you ask, you know? Now I would do a whole review on these like I used to do, but honestly, I, I don't do no more. I don't do reviews like that anymore. I just want to show you guys the greatness of this vehicle. So this is kind of like a bonus. If you guys don't want to see this and you guys are not interested in this van at all, or you already have it, then like it, like it, share it, like it, and subscribe for more. But I'm just gonna show you guys the cool, <coughs> <coughs> the amazing functionality of this van and why I love it. So I'm not. I'm only gonna fill it up like. Uh, stems for now. If I need more space, I will definitely If you guys want to see more content by me, then stick around for now. Really, if you guys are interested in the van, like it, like it, share it, like it, like it, share it, like it, share it. Okay, fall over. Fall over. Come on, fall over. Am I gonna hit Oh, no, it fell over. Get it, like, right here. Look at you guys don't have to watch because this is only for that red man. So it's not for anything else. Uh, in fact, even if you are in your soul on the red man, you don't have to watch it. Like, really, just to show you guys how cool it is if you're not sold on it already. So if you're like, I don't know if I should get it, doesn't seem like it's a wise thing to get. It seems like it's a waste of time, waste of space, waste of all that. And you're probably like, oh, it just seems like it might slow my game down, and I don't think I want it. Well, this should hopefully change mine. So, let's go ahead and just uh, continue coming down the street. I think it's too big. Is this too big? No, it is not too heavy. Alright. So, again, yeah. also, I would recommend if you get the van and you're loading up wood into it, load it up like this. Crap! Load it up like this because you can actually throw it into the van and make your life a little bit easier. Stacking the wood up on top of each other like this. If I could actually throw wood. There we go. And I think the last bit right here. Well, I'm going to fill it up as much as I can. But, like, the last normal piece is going to be like this. Uh, there it is. This is probably going to go on the very top. Alright, there we go. So we're going to start stacking more wood. Of course, I don't really need to show you guys how to feel obligated. It's a waste of like your game time, you know. You're doing something uh, valuable this time. Uh, <coughs> Man, I have a bad call. Uh, grab oh no, I'm still grabbing the uh, Now first three however are very good. Oh, I'm cutting the wrong piece of wood. 
A ranch and look how thick it is now again it will take some time to cut but it's probably i mean i could say it's not worth it that's all the reason it's not one of the reasons i say it's not is because uh, keep in mind you're gonna be sitting there for like an hour right now look. however with the other tree it's simply crap is that right it's simply one chop and you'll see it's like that that's good is that for real Roll this connect. Yep, it is disconnected. Right. Grab this and throw it in the back of the van. Back of the van. The back of the van. Crap. It won't stick with it. Oh wow. What I want to do real quick is I want to just put down those straps. Get out now. Uh, just so that way it'll all stay there. This strap is not going to stay there. However, uh, I'm going to disconnect this real quick. Disconnect it. There we go. So those ones are all strapped down and everything like that. I just wanted to make sure that this is going to stay there. Good. Now let's get this uh, piece of wood right here. There. I'm gonna push it back a little bit. So yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna put as much wood in the back of this thing as I can. Try to show it's like real use in this game. Uh, like, I'm not sold on it. I don't think it's worth it. Crap, I have a lot. That should be good for it. I don't care if it's got a couple of things sticking out because I'm not using it for like building or anything. I'm simply sell it. That's the one. That's the one. Again, another thing I have is always cut those things off, but make sure you get pieces that are kind of good, like big. Don't get any small pieces for the van. Because unlike trucks, where you can easily load it up like that, this is kind of a little bit more difficult. It's kind of, you know, comes with that. You have to have that little bit of extra space. But of course, that's the wrong thing. Now, you can always use a skid steer to load this stuff up, but of course, it's much easier by hand, and that's why, I, again, I love it. Because most of the other trailers, you have to use it. You have to use a kid here. It's not that it's not that small. Yeah. You're not using it for the people. I think I'm done now. I think I'm just gonna drive some wood on this map and simply just sell this wood. Honestly, I highly doubt it has one because, well, it is a freaking you know, a uh, desert. Why would it need to sell wood? If anything you need to buy the wood and the wood should be expensive. Okay. You know what? There's a little bit of space for another piece of wood. Hopefully I don't regret this. I'm gonna take this piece right here. Oh, no, no, oh. Try a different way now. Let's try it. Oh, no, no, no. Try it one more time. Like, really and truly, what's the worst that's going to happen? Because I don't have the side doors open on purpose. I have them closed for a reason. Actually, I think it's a lot. I think those kind of those doors are a little bit stupid in a way. Uh, let's try it. Let's see, how does that work? Does that go over this? No, that is actually a kind of dumb. Because the way this, this log is, it's kind of dumb. So, if anything, we're getting rid of this log. We're gonna get a normal one. Right. We can actually pick up both of these, I think. I'm not gonna pick them up. Now, take both of them. Now, now. Alright, so we're gonna take this one and the other one. Bit too big, alright. Just showing you guys how much a good, you know, download this would be and how much, no crap, return of investment you get off of it. Alright. So, bad idea taking those straps off, by the way. So, I'm going to go put those back on now. That way, nothing that's already in there is going to come out and, oh gosh. Yeah. It's in the very back. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open the uh, back itself. The middle, my bad, not the back. And fill that up as well. Yeah, just, just show me. Just proving my point. So let's go ahead and put this thing in. Oh wow, just about this one. Take this thing in, stack it in, just like that. Okay, no, I should not. I should have put this strap on. Okay. Dang it, I can't even do that. All right, that sucks a little bit. Let's grab this one and let's throw it over a little bit more. Oh no, I took the straps off completely. All right, okay, that's strapped down. That's fine. Okay. Not too worried. There's no way this is strapped, is it? It's strapped, isn't it? Do I really have to remove the strap just to grab this piece out? Okay, well, let's put that strap back on then, because that's not how it works.
start the van up and move home. We're gonna open up. No, we're not gonna open up those back doors yet. Not bad. Once this whole back area is full, then I'll open the back doors. But right now, there's that back area is not. This back area is not full. But yeah, like I said, this is just showing you guys how much of a good investment it is in your time, in your, in your file space or whatever, in your game space. It is just that much of a good investment. Yeah, I, I personally believe. Okay, we're gonna now that we have that one strapped in, we're gonna take this one off the strap right here. We're gonna remove this piece of wood, put that strap back on. And we're gonna take this piece of wood right here. Take it. Oh crap. We're gonna take it. We're gonna throw it in. Just like that. Oh gosh. Okay, not, not perfect, but whatever. Take it. And oh gosh. Wow, I'm having some serious issues putting this piece of wood. No, stay. Keep a piece of wood. Drop it right there. No, okay. You know what? I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. Put it in. Oh wow. I, I was actually gonna have to take this strap off and put the strap back on and all that. Uh, luckily not. Okay, and then last piece right here. Put it up there. Oh, boy. That, that's kind of... See, the thing is, though... Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this. I'm going to put the strap up, off, and on. I'm going to take the strap off. Turn the van on. Drive forward. That way, a lot of the wood can go to the back of the van. Put the strap on. And then... Uh, the strap should be on now. Let me check that. Strap are on now. Let's go ahead and open the rear door. Should have back over here. Right. While we do that, now we, now you guys can see is, ooh, that piece of wood right there is very unsecure. Actually, move that to the back. Maybe, maybe I just put my doors closed a little bit more. That way, it's a little bit safer. Let's actually move this piece right here in a little bit. Drop it. There we go. Okay, now it's closed. Let's put the strap on. Oh, strap. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start throwing, throwing like little pieces like this into the back, the very back. You know, I don't care if they, if they stay in, it's just, you know, if I get an extra, a little bit of extra piece in here and there that's small, you know, I can easily make it really extra fun. Turn this sideways and cut it down. No way, it's not worth it. Let's go to another piece, like right here. Watch what this is now, can I get a little piece here? Not even this, like, little piece like this, or like, little piece like this, and then, and so uh, let's grab this piece now. Shouldn't have cut it like that, but whatever. Oh, bro. oh, no way. No way. Hold on. Put the, uh, thing forward. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna essentially crash just so I can remove these straps. Or just so I can have this thing go flying with those uh, things go flying forward. So I would like them to be up against my tab. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crash the wall on purpose. That way all the windows flying forward. I have to do it, I have to have this timing perfect. There we go, I think I did it perfect. No, I did it wrong. Oh, crud. Okay, that actually works. Um, so I'm a little bit scared about doing these drafts uh, non-individually now. Like, if I... I feel like if I do... Ooh, crud. Not like that. But I feel like if I do them, uh, like, all at once again, I think bad things will happen. But, like I said, uh, we're going to disconnect this trap right here. Oh, yeah, I do not like how this wood is just falling a little bit forward. And now it's out of the trap. Whatever. It can stay right there. Now we dropped it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the trap back on. So simply because of that. Um, and I'm going to cut down a little bit. A little bit more. Yeah. It's all about like having you know, like getting a little piece here and a little piece there. It's so worth it. And you guys probably like, you know, why? You know, more normally on the uh, Because you think that if you turn your truck into a completely flip over. And that is true. That is exactly what happens in the game. However, this fan is not like that. You guys can see why it's my favorite thing. You're going to fill it up with people. I'm just going to come out and show you guys how much you could push this thing to the limit. But how worth it is to do it. 
How is it to unclip? Is it like, I think it's L3, right? L3, yep, yeah, alright. Try and reclip it once I have it into position. Oh gosh, I do not like how this thing is turning out. However, I will like how it turns out once I have this in the van. Ah, I see, okay, it's a bit too big. Okay. Did you know that? Put that in a little bit more. Alright, yeah. Chop, okay, I'm gonna chop off this small bit of yeah. And even then, I'm still putting the whole thing in the truck just at a different time. All right. Put this all the way in the back. No way it goes all the way in the back. Okay, I cannot believe it. No, my remote's dead. Crap, one minute. I knew that was going to happen. All right. Remote. Peace. Spot. All right, that one's charging. Let's reconnect. Let's connect up this one. This is uh, this is almost fully charged. Grab this. Put it in the back. Hopefully, this will not cause an issue. That scares me a little bit every time I put something in the back now. Um, ooh, I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and chop this thing here. I think this will be the very last piece of what I put in. I think this one right here, right here. The last piece of what I put in. And I genuinely believe that everything. There we go. Really? It cut the wrong piece of wood. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess I'm putting two pieces of music. Uh, let's grab this one. So I guess we're putting this one and the other piece I just cut. So let's grab this. I don't mind throwing this one right there. In fact, I also don't mind that. Just... Yeah, this one may be a challenge to put in, but I know I probably could. As well as a couple of other little pieces that are just hanging around. Oy, oh crap, no, I don't like what I just did. I do not like what I just did. Oh god, that was like a little a support thing, essentially. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put this in. I'm gonna try. Ah, oh, okay, you know what, let's, let's close this. See what happens. Okay, straps are on, let's open this door again. Now that I know everything's strapped in, that, uh, that's like a little comfort thing right there. Like having everything strapped in is just so comforting because you know, all right, everything's strapped in. I'm not too worried now. You know, whatever. Uh, let's get this in. Let's try it like this. All right. Wow, that got in pretty smoothly. I don't think I would have been able to do that the other way. Um, I think there's another piece of wood I'm gonna take. Like I'm trying to take as much as I can just to show you guys. Okay. Like, hey, this thing can handle a lot of wood. And it's hard to prove that without giving people a visual representation of it actually working. Let's go ahead and again, next piece. Wait a minute. Okay, this should probably be strapped. Oh, bro. Shit. If you genuinely put the effort into it, though. You know, if you're not putting the effort into it, you're not going to get, you know, what you want. So is it strapped in now? I think it's still strapped in. There we go. That that, that kind of works. Okay. Put the door, that forward. Open the door again. And again, I will also be again smashing into another wall just to bring all these things forward. Ah, oh, come on, no. All right. Well, I think I can genuinely fit one more, and then I'm gonna be. I think I'll be packed after this last piece right here. Or at least I'll be packed. I will have this all packed up. I think. Now let's try slamming into a wall and then. You know, locking the load or whatever after I crash through that wall. So that's gonna be the wall right there. Or actually, this one's closer. Look at that. Look at how much. Hold on. I wanted to show you that. 
how much space I just cleared up by crashing into that wall. Okay, so I understand it's not realistic and straps even on. Hold on a minute. Uh, help window on. On okay, the tension belt, aka straps, are definitely uh you know, working. Let's go ahead and shut the van off. Open the doors. Oh yeah, wrong wrong remote. So that is pretty cool. Cause look, these are all over oh, there. Open that. They're all that is perfect. Okay, let's get the um let's get this piece of wood here. Put this piece in. Ah oh, crap. Issue. Um Again, I don't know I'll be able to fit everything in here. I could literally fit. Honestly, if I was packing this stuff a little bit more uh, carefully, I could probably fit everything. However, I'm not packing it that carefully, so I'm not going to be able to fit everything. Alright, now I'm going to get into the dumber side of things, where I'm basically going to close this up now. And kind of do the opposite of what I've been doing. So let's take off the straps, and we're going to back into a wall, and then strap everything in like that. I don't know if that did much at all for the uh, middle portion, but in the event that it did, hopefully I could be able to fit a little bit more. However, there is a strap going from one side to another, and I don't think I'm going to be able to fit any more on this side. So, that. But that is very good. Okay, um. So, while leaving my straps on and leaving the vehicle on, obviously, because I don't want anything falling on, I'm going to put one more. Okay, I, I'm promising myself the last one. I'm going to. I'm gonna get this piece right here, shove it in the top, close the door, and hope for that. Alright, let's grab it. Let's grab it and go. Uh, oh, man. My doors aren't wide enough, I don't think. Cut a piece of this off. Okay. Some pieces you just gotta leave behind, but others you gotta hope that you can break. The others, very, very good. This, oh man. This could be a decent amount to add to my bottom line. Uh, but this thing, even though it'll fit, probably won't add to my bottom line. Or if it does, it will add very little to it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this up anyways. And uh, there is no rotation of the, of the item. But, however, I have just accidentally rotated it on my own. Alright, that should be able to fit in. Go ahead and just really quickly get in and close the door now, just to uh, make sure that fits in. Now that that's in, let's put this one. Oh my god, okay, that is absolutely perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and just, let's drive with this thing now. So, this thing is now absolutely full. I mean, completely and 100%, completely and truly 100% full. With wood piled up to the top, okay? That is a very large amount of wood, and in fact, honestly, you guys can see I'm actually leaning into the turns because of how much weight this thing has. Something I'm actually going to do now, I'm going to drive over to the spawn, and I'm going to see how much this thing actually weighs. With all this wood, then I'm going to take the wood out, and I'm going to see how much it weighs that. Just to show you guys how much, how fast this thing can go when it's full of wood. Now, I will lean into the turns, but something you definitely don't have to worry about is you losing your wood because it leans into the turns. Okay? I mean, it's not going to lose the wood because it's got a roof. It's got doors. Nothing's going to happen to your wood. Of course, unless you're driving with your doors open. But if you're doing that, honestly, number one, you're being pretty dumb. But number two, if you're doing that, and I understand why you're, do why you're doing it. Maybe you have, like, you're putting a big amount of wood in the back and you're strapping it down like that. And you're hoping that it, does, it goes without having to cut it. I understand that completely. But if you are, you know, you got to be careful when you drive. Like, look. Oh, boy. And hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I still have every bit of wood in the back of this truck, as if I had not crashed one. Just telling you guys. Alright, let's go ahead and just keep grabbing. I think it was on the left, on my left side, and again, I'm getting decent speed as well. You know, I'm not just sagging behind or anything like that. I'm getting decent speed. So, I think it's on the left side. Oh gosh, really? That is a little bit annoying. So yes, it is going to topple over because it is... Van and vans are top heavy, plus, you know, having that much weight is gonna make it lean into the turns. But still, you know, be honest, it's still pretty good. Oh boy. What I think I need to do is I need to actually readjust. So let's go ahead and uh, close the doors, open that. Actually, let's open these doors, open these doors. No, let's leave those doors. There we go. 
close that now it should be able to uh since the tension melts fast be able to deal with it. we're gonna unfast these belts see how it just uh rolls around we're letting the load move with the band it kind of goes okay but when you stop letting it move with the band it kind of messes a couple of things up i don't know i don't know how that theory works Oh no! Okay, I thought I was gonna genuinely tip into that guy. Luckily, I didn't. All right. Oh boy! Yo 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 yo! Oh no! I tipped over at the last possible second. Okay, that sucks a little bit. But let's go ahead and just get a Mustang, head over there, and tip it back over. Cause this I can head at like 50 miles an hour. Now, this is, even though it's a good mod and a good vehicle to use, it is actually quite useless. Now I, I understand. I'm actually like. Doing all of this just to show off one of the first people, actually the first uh, genuine mod on this list, but I just don't, I want to make sure I'm showing it its proper glory. Like, I don't want this thing to look like it's not what it is. It is an amazing mod that this game has needed since day one. Right. Close the doors. Keep those doors closed. And also, keep in mind, since everything's strapped down, I can mark the doors open. Alright. However, once you uh, let, the, let the straps off, you should not be riding with the doors open at all. Okay, let's go ahead. All right, let's drive forward now. Let's see what, how much it weighs. So this thing weighs a total of, with all that with the back, 3,893 pounds, right? 3,893. Let's take a picture of that just so I can remember. I want to compare this weight. All right, now let's go ahead and the way I'm gonna uh, simply get the wood out is I'm gonna open the back. I'm gonna take the strap off as I'm driving backwards and I'm gonna just, dang, that didn't work too well. Yo, I know, what I, how to, I know how to get it out there. Let's close this before I do that because I don't want any of it landing on the actual uh, strip thing here. Let's open these back doors and sliding doors as well. They're all just gonna start falling out, you know. Wood, wood is gonna fall out here and there. Oh, man. Free wood, everybody. Yeah, look at this. Look at how look at how easy this wood comes out. And obviously, you can use the uh, doors themselves to help you out. There we go, there's all the wood gone. Alright, let's put the uh, door forward. Oh crap, I'm hitting some wood now. Uh, close the door. Alright, let's actually close the doors all the way down. Hang on, this could also be probably used for multiplayer as well. Uh, let's see how much it weighs now without the wood. Oh, crap. oh no! Dang it, alright. There's no wood, right? This is. 3,893. No way it weighs the same as without the wood. I genuinely refuse to believe that. Because if that's the case, then why does it lean into the turns when it's got the wood in the back? It weighs 3,993 3 pounds. No way. Okay. So let's now remove the truck, the item, the vehicle. Wait a minute. Oh, it might be like stuck. I think it is. Let's like, let me remove all the weight. Um, okay, that's, that might be a glitch. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm genuinely. That was, that is pretty cool. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna lie. That, wait a minute, that that can't be true. Dang it, that's the weight from the skid skier. That's, dang it, that sucks. Okay, I messed up there, but whatever. You guys get what I'm saying? This thing can haul wood very good and dries well without the wood either way. It's really cool, really nice. So I recommend getting it. Like, like, share, like, and subscribe for more.